So this video is hard for me, but I feel like I'd be doing a disservice to the people that call me an inspiration if I don't share the hard parts of my life. Because I think especially as spiritual creators, we talk about all the good and all the work that we've done, but there's always something that we have that we see as our shame because everybody's human and we're all trying to work on something. So I actually have agoraphobic tendency. I had full-fledged agoraphobia back in 2018, got hypnotized, I was good. The lockdown started to happen and my brain kind of just broke. That's PTSD for you. And for the longest time, I felt like I wasn't worthy of even being someone to look up to. Because who am I to give people hope when in a specific category of my own life, it's hard for me to have hope. Plus during the lockdown, I'm going through a spiritual awakening. My abilities are kicking in. I'm having people gaslight me. I'm feeling the energy of people around me. So then it's like, is it anxiety? Is it empathy? And when you begin to heal, people start to hate you because you trigger everything that they think they can't do. And so I kind of became a recluse. And it's been an ongoing struggle to try and undo the damage that my brain is now dealing with. So my point is, when you see all these creators, when you see these celebrity, don't worship them. Remember that we're all human. We're all experiencing something. There's pain within all of us because life is one big lesson. No one is inherently better than anyone else. When you see something that touches your heart, let it inspire you. And when you see someone be toxic, let it motivate you into what you don't want to be. But remember that nobody is better or less than anyone else. We're simply all here on this floating rock, just trying to figure it out and do the best we can. So be kind to yourself and most importantly, be kind to others because you have no idea what type of struggles other people are going through. That angry person in the grocery store, their parent might have just died. That alpha male on TikTok that we all hate, maybe his dad beats him. You have no idea what other people are going through and until we start to work together and see each other as equal, to truly know what unconditional love for one another really means, we're never gonna get to where we need to go. So believe in yourself and have an open heart for everyone else around you and you can finally be the change that you wish to see. I hope this inspired somebody, because this wasn't fun for me to make. I love you guys.